Hi friends, welcome back to the Program Market YouTube channel. Today we are going to discuss about the one of the very important program which is going to be asked in every interview like uh, write a Java program for Fibonacci series of given number. Okay, but here right we are going to uh, write the Java program of Fibonacci series by using the stream API along with normal way. Okay, so first we will see how we are going to write using the for loop without using stream api see uh, before uh, writing the fibonacci series right you should know what is the fibonacci series okay if you know the what is fibonacci series you might get programming idea how you you can write the fibonacci series the fibonacci series is the right suppose fibonacci series of the 10 10 is our given number okay so how it is going to be calculated right so it is going to be calculated from 0 to 10 each number corresponding to the next number is going to be uh, summing summing is nothing but adding such a way right i will sorry i have initialized the number 1 equals to 0 number 2 is equals to 1 why because right the series is going to be start with the 0 comma 1 right so and and also int limit is equals to 10 see fibonacci series of the 14 integers till 14 it is going to be calculated like this okay see 0 1 1 2 2 plus 3 5 3 plus 5 8 okay uh, 5 plus 8 13 8 plus 13 21 tw uh, 13 plus 21 34 like that see the formula of the fibonacci series is right See, initially we uh, they have been declared the variable like uh, f0 is equals to 0 f1 equals to 1 fn is equals to that means which number is going to calculate right fn1 minus 1 plus fn1 minus 2 so that means each position of the corresponding uh, elements right you, you are going to be calculate see in this way you can calculate okay so now in the same thing we are going to be apl apply into the our java program okay and limit here there uh, you have can see right 14 is the digit number so I, I have taken only 10 okay here 100 also you can mention no issue so first we will see for 10 for int i is equals to 0 i less than limit it will iterate till the limit okay and i plus plus system dot out dot print ln and fibonacci series we are going to print number one why we are going to print at starting itself right we are going to calculate in future sum into sum is equals to n plus n1 plus n2 see here we, we are going to calculate right 0 plus 1 okay so before that we need to print the 0 right so so after that into sum 0 plus 1 so sum is the 1 now n1 see n1 initially 0 right it is going to be 1 and n2 is equals to 1 since it is a sum so after that first iteration uh, completion right second iteration it will come uh, num1 is equals to 1 and sum is equals to 1 plus 1 2 okay num1 is equals to 2 now and uh, num1 is equals to 1 only and num2 is, is going to be 2 because sum is right so such a way it is going to be iterate till the given limit okay so let me execute this program you may understand see here till 10 what is the fibonacci series 0 1 1 plus 1 2 13 plus 21 34 such a way it is going to be calculated the same thing we are summing here okay find the fibonacci series by using the recursive way it is most important question out of 10 interviews 8 interviews is it is going to be asked because right many people not aware what is recursive recursive is nothing but calling itself that means uh, the function which is going to be declared right calling itself until uh, it is going to be negative okay so here 
why I have take, uh, initialized the or uh, declared the data as a static, right? Since uh, we, we are going to use the same numbers and limit in the static method, right? So that I have declared initially, okay? So here I have created the one method print Fibno series. Initially, uh, I'm printing the number one, number two, since it is a recursive, right? Before itself, we are going to print the 0 and 1. After that, same in the uh, limit minus 2, we have we did, right? Since first iteration is 0, second iteration 1 is already printed. So that we are uh, limiting the till 8, okay? I am sending the 8 here. So 8 is greater than 0. So it is coming to the inside the if condition. So, int sum is equals to num1 plus num2. Num1, what is the number? 0 plus 1, 1. Sum is the 1. So, after that, already printed the 1, right? So, it printed the again 1. So, num1 is equals to num2. Num2 is equals to sum. After that, right? What it is going to be do? It is going to be call again one more time. The same Fibonacci, I mean, uh, method. Calling, it is calling itself actually. Okay. Now, it limit is the 8, 8 minus 1, 7. So, again it is going to be here and uh, num1 is equals to 1 and num2 is equals to 2. So, here printing the sum, right? The sum is, is going to be 2. After that, after that, uh, num1 is equals to num2 and sum, num2 is equals to sum, we are assigning here. So, such a way, the, until the condition is going to be false, right? If condition, the... Um, the self calling function is going to be execute. So, this is how you can call the recursive. So, it is most important for interview program. So, please keep in mind and uh, uh, keep practice for this Fibonacci series. Okay. Now, let me execute this program. See, Fibonacci series by using recursive. The same output came for up to 10. Suppose if you uh, change the limit of uh, 20, right? So, the output is going to be different. See, the data is more, okay. So, now we will see how we can write the, by using the stream API. Since we are iterating each and every condition, right? So, there is a one method, stream.iterate is there. There is a method, stream.iterate, okay. So, now we will see how we are going to write by using the Java 8 program. Since I have explained the uh, other two ways, right? So, to save the time consuming, um, I already written the function here. See, stream.iterate is the function method. So, in the method, in this iterate method, right, what it is going to be take? It is seed. Seed is nothing but any of the array of information. Any information, not only array, okay? And unary operation. So, here, you can declare as a lambda lambda operations also okay so here right i have initialized new int 0 comma 1 initially we need to have two numbers right that's reason i have initialized the array and f f is the fibno series whatever the data is here it is there right seed that is going to be transfer f of lambda expression new int i have taken the f of 0 sorry f of 1 comma f of 0 plus f of 1 okay so after that right uh, i am giving the limit data the limiting the element is 10 dot map of f of 0 so it is going to be iterate the i actually here we are printing the i right so i lambda expression of system dot out dot print ln it is going to be display the as expected output. Let me comment the normal way. Till 10 it has been executed since the limit has been given the 10, right? So, how it is exactly working is nothing but here we are using the lambda expression. Okay, in this lambda expression, we are creating the new integer array. So, in this new int array, right? What we data we are doing? We are taking the f1 okay and uh, f0 plus f1 f1 is the one value it is there and f1 f0 is the 0 0 plus 1 1 and limit 
10 after that f is here what the value it is having the uh, whatever the data it is transferred from here right from the f it is going to be transfer f of 0 initially it will print the 0 since the initial value of f of 0 is 0 so such a way right it is going to be loop altogether until the limit is exceed okay i hope you understand right how you, you need to write by using the java 8 if you like the content of the video please like and subscribe my channel for the future videos thank you very much for watching this video